Fisher Professional Services is a student consulting firm with the idea of getting students action-based learning opportunities. We take students into the real world to provide them with projects with real companies doing initiatives that the companies really value. In the summer of 2010, we took eight teams of students to Hong Kong and Ireland, working with Fortune-listed companies such as Microsoft, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, uh, The Limited, and many others. Being able to talk to the company and understand that they truly value your work and that they are going to use it was one of the most beneficial uh, things I got out of the program. It's one thing to learn everything in a textbook context, but when you have to think of the implications of it, when you think of you know, how to apply that, that learned material, it takes on a very different meaning. So that's you know, the biggest thing that, that I got out of the trip is just the action-based learning aspect. I did my internship this summer with Sports Illustrated in New York City. This past summer I experienced an 11 week internship in New York City working for a financial services company called Duff & Phelps. My experience as an intern really helped me realize how well I've been prepared here. I was leaps and bounds over the other interns in some areas and it just really made me feel confident about what I've learned here at Ohio State. I think the most rewarding aspect of my internship was the fact that I was doing work that actually mattered at the job. Knowing that you're doing uh, work for clients and you're actually adding value to their company and, and um, creating revenue for your company that you're working for, it was really rewarding. Well, the Fisher Fall Career Fair is something we started about 10 years ago. And what we started was um, a venue that was kind of small and intimate, purposefully. We wanted companies to be able to make a personal connection with the students of Fisher. Deloitte comes to Ohio State for the quality of students. They're fantastic, they get a great education, they're well prepared for a career in a world like ours. I think what's unique about the Fisher students is they have a great energy um, and they're very excited to talk to the employers when we come. The career fair offers an opportunity for students to, to get out and meet companies. A lot of us don't have experience with how to connect with employers, so the career fair puts us right in front of them, puts us right in front of the recruiters, allows us to sell ourselves, and uh, hopefully gets our foot in the door for an internship or even a full-time position. This past month in October, I was part of a trip that went to Haiti with the Haiti Empowerment Project. My role was, was to understand how the business school might be involved with, with the Haiti Empowerment Project. And, and also to look for research opportunities while I was there and, and hopefully accomplish something as well, uh, do something meaningful in the short time I was there. Fisher has a lot of unique uh, expertise you know, across the board in terms of finance, in terms of marketing, human resources. Almost anything you, you could think of in business, Fisher has someone who's, who's an expert. A country like Haiti, we have an interesting context where we can answer interesting research questions, but at the same time, the information that we find out could have huge practical implications for Haiti. very excited to have Ben Bernanke, the chairman of the Federal Reserve Board, visit us at Fisher College of Business. While he was here, he hosted a panel discussion with business leaders that was attended by students, faculty, and staff. We're here today to talk about probably the most important economic issue facing America today, job creation. The skills that are required in an innovation economy are all based on education. I think the most important thing is that it's technology and it's innovation that's working together and having a point of view that we really can compete with the best in the world. We were surprised by a visit by Chairman Bernanke to the Honors Cohort Classroom prior to his presentation at Fisher College of Business. Chairman Bernanke's visit to the Fisher College of Business is a milestone for us. It's a recognition of the quality of Fisher College of Business at The Ohio State University. So over spring break with about 20 students and four professors, we got to go down to Costa Rica and meet with 
about 10 different businesses all around the country. The course is focused on the general themes of green business and simultaneously how those issues are affecting Costa Rica and companies that do business there. A trip like this really broadens your horizons, teaches you that people have different experiences and come from different backgrounds, and that that really should be incorporated to different business models. And as the world is very globally connected, that's going to be increasingly important. I have seen personally over the years in both business and education a great and growing emphasis on international education. Going on a trip like this forces students to think for themselves as they're approached with unique business situations and then you start to develop your own theories and ideas about business. Lifelong, passionate learning. If you don't have that, you're not going to be able to run a big business. Students had the opportunity to spend an hour with Mr. Jamie Dimon, who's the chairman and CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. The talk was part of our Distinguished Speaker Series, which is part of our leadership and professional development program for our students. The students learn a lot about business through the classroom environment and through interaction with our faculty, but to really have the opportunity to interact directly with business leaders is a really valuable uh, experience for the students and it very much complements what we do with them in the classroom. I think this is what people come to school for. You want to be able to not only network with people like that, but also hear their stories. And when you hear their war stories, you can actually get an understanding of how your book work facilitates into and compares with the real world. For the year 2010-2011, we piloted with uh, two clusters. One is the health care cluster, and the second is sustainability and clean energy cluster. It's a small cohort of students who have decided that they are interested in a particular industry and therefore pursue additional knowledge and training in that industry area. These executives come in and talk to us and we get to hear their first-hand stories of what's going on in the business and we're able to ask any sort of questions that we feel we have about the industry and they're very open to answering them. The healthcare industry cluster, it's given me the opportunity to work uh, with Ohio Health on, on a project and it's, it, it's kind of been like a glimpse into my own future. It's really opened my eyes to a lot of the possibilities that are out there in the business world. 